We had a whole number of questions um, basically around for both of you is that when you are in sort of a sea of negativity, you know, the whole blah, blah, blah that you all said, um, how do you buffer yourself from it or keep yourself from, you know, taking it too far and disrupting, say, your own energy and information flow? I could speak to that. Maybe. Please do. Uh, I think, um, I mean, in my model, it has to do with the self-management abilities. And the first thing you want to do is go in, into that sea inside and uh, monitor how this outer negativity is actually affecting you inside and uh, managing your own reactions. Because, because, because we're so connected in relationship, if you can stay calm, if you can be centered, if you can be present, kind, and compassionate, in that surround and negativity, then you will be the sender. That is, the more stable you are inside in these uh, positive abilities, the more people will be like that agitated professor calming down with the monk. So I think the first thing we can bring is, as, as Dan said, our own presence to ourselves uh, to a situation like that. Okay, so let's say you start that and then you feel yourself falling off the cliff that you can't just be that calm person in that moment. Um, how would both of you see helping someone get there? Well, let me just add one thing before Dan jumps in, which is uh, it gets to something I didn't have time to go into and Dan just mentioned, which is neuroplasticity. Uh, if, if you're going to embody these things, it helps very much to have a practice or to have a method. And uh, Dan and, and I also talk a lot about mindfulness and about learning, uh, not just learning once, but practicing daily so that you get a stronger and stronger neuronal connectivity to stabilize in a state where you can be centered in the midst of whatever life throws at you. And we all know life throws stuff. So uh, it's, uh, it's that there's a training, and what you're doing is, in a sense, training the brain. And that the, that's the training. The practice is life, actually, how you do in that situation.